Chris Jenner. Let's get back to Chris. I think one of the very few mothers who um, basically sold their daughter. Uh, but what a great business mind Chris Jenner is. And uh, Caitlin is Chris. Oh, what the hell is his name? Uh, Bruce. Caitlin, previously Bruce. Yeah, see, <laughs> I can't read. I'm looking at saying Chris, Chris, Chris. Now hold the opinion that Kim Kardashian is a prostitute. And I'm not going to edit this opinion. Kim Kardashian is a prostitute. Her mother is a pimp. Worse than a prostitute, Kim Kardashian is a corpse. I think that Kim Kardashian caught that moment of femininity and sexuality. She was the, she is the it girl of the, what we're talking about. She is the it girl. She is the moment. She was talking about sex and people uh, that that's what their show, that's how it became popular. It's who they were dating, you know, who they were sleeping with. She's crying about her sex tape. She's crying about this. Like she brought forth the sex culture. So she is the, the icon from the moment that we're talking about. But I think we are actually moving away from it. The handwriting of Kim Kardashian, the three, I'm holding it up right now, the three sex tapes that her and her mother and him decided to choose between. Her mother was so involved, did you hear him? She was so involved in the details, she wanted to pick which sex tape to release. And then she went to her friends and she sat down with the honchos and she sold her daughter's body for fame. This girl, so if you have not heard, Kim Kardashian allegedly had some videotapes and audio tapes that was actually recovered in the raid at P. Diddy's home. He sent out a warning shot, posting video of celebrities at Diddy's 50th birthday party. The Kardashians, Jay-Z, Beyonce, Kanye, Kevin Hart, every A-lister was there. Y'all manipulate us to do the shit. I take full responsibility for the act. I was lit. We made a lot of money. I get it. But we... We together, like, y'all really think that y'all was gonna, I, I don't know, you know what, here's how I look at it. Your lawyer Marty, right? Every time somebody talks shit about y'all of this magnitude, y'all always cease and desist. Y'all shut that shit down. Y'all tried to make Black China look crazy, right? Because you felt like you had the facts. Crickets. Kim ain't responded to this at all because she know what she did. And Chris, you know you ran the play. I'm going crazy tonight as far as like, like my energy because I'm so like disgusted at sitting back and waiting for what? Like waiting for what? I can't see the comments. I don't give a f about what nobody say. All I care about is my daughter and my son growing up like damn, Pops is 100. Like Pops would never put anything out without anybody's consent. Music mogul Sean Diddy Combs has been arrested by federal agents at a hotel here in New York City. So who was with you this weekend? A bunch of my friends. Diddy, Quincy, Justin Bieber. At 5.30 a.m. on well, this party, I think half the people there were butt naked. All right. So here's the scoop everyone's whispering about. Diddy, Kim Kardashian, and Kendall Jenner all in the same room. Turning up and lighting up social feeds with that mix of glam and mystery only Hollywood could pull off. Picture it. Dim lights, A-list vibes, and these three letting loose as if the world isn't watching. But you know how it goes. The internet never sleeps, especially with Diddy tangled up in some serious legal drama. Just them being seen together has fans on high alert, dissecting every look, every laugh, every little vibe shift. It's giving classic Hollywood, but with all the drama cranked up a notch. Now, this isn't just any casual hang. Diddy and the Kardashians? They go way back, like back to Kim's early days hustling as Paris Hilton's stylist. It was at one of Diddy's famous white parties that Kim first got a taste of the Hollywood elite scene, rubbing shoulders with big names and setting her own stage. Then, in 2008, she's chatting it up with Diddy at the MGM Grand, another peek into their long-standing connection. Every little moment since then has had people wondering, just how close are these two powerhouse families? And let's not forget about Chloe. She was there at Diddy's 4th of July bash in 09, hosted with Ashton Kutcher for Malaria Awareness, no less. Diddy even popped by when Chloe was hosting her own events, showing up in that way only true friends do. And it wasn't just the sisters. Courtney's been spotted at Diddy's birthday parties and even the premiere of his documentary. The years of public appearances, shared moments, 
and high-profile events have fed this mystery around how deep this connection runs. But here's where it gets juicy. These aren't just random party picks. There's a whole history of the Kardashians and Diddy showing up for each other, way beyond just being seen. The Grammy parties, low-key dinners, moments with no paparazzi insight, added fuel to this Hollywood fire. With Diddy's legal drama blowing up in 2024, the whispers are getting louder. Fans are digging through old, keeping up with the Kardashians episodes, finding scenes that now seem like clues. Chloe's party stories, guests barely dressed, partying till sunrise, suddenly seem to mean a lot more than just good times. It's like people are reading between the lines of those wild nights for something deeper. A hint of what might have been lurking behind the glamour. Remember that playful moment between Kim and Chris? When Kim teased Chris for hanging at a Diddy show and mingling with Rick Ross? It felt lighthearted back then. But now it's hitting different, especially with fans now questioning just how much Chris knew and how much she let her daughter see about Diddy's world. Her presence at these parties doesn't look so innocent anymore. It's starting to feel like she might have seen the real side of the scene, and that adds a whole new layer to the Kardashian-Diddy saga. As Diddy's trial takes over headlines, every old photo and every mention of their friendship is under a magnifying glass. It's almost like this glamorous, high-profile friendship is turning into a mystery people can't resist. The stakes for the Kardashians? Well, let's just say they've probably got a bit more skin in the game than any of us realize. So here we are, with every detail piling up and the internet eating up every hint, every whisper. The Kardashians have spent years mastering the art of crafting their public image, controlling every shot, every narrative, every party pick that gets leaked. But this? This might be the one story they can't control, with Diddy's drama threatening to pull them in deeper than they'd ever planned. Hollywood has always been about connections, but this connection between Diddy's world of music parties, and power, and the Kardashian empire built on reality TV and curated chaos. Has fans questioning where the friendship ends and where something more complicated might begin? Chris might have seen it all back in the day, but now, as she sits at the head of a family dynasty that owes much to these connections, her moves and her silence are only adding to the intrigue. And with fans already re-watching old k d d t k case episodes for clues and snapping up any tidbit from Diddy's legal saga, it feels like we're all on the brink of something explosive. If these old memories of glam parties and insider access suddenly reveal more than meets the eye, the Kardashian-Jenner brand could be in for a wild ride. Because in Hollywood, where fame and alliances are currency, this link between the Kardashians and Diddy might just be the one card in their hand that even they didn't see coming. Even that iconic scene of Kendall's Last Supper bathroom selfie at the Met Gala, a nod to the Kardashian-Jenner power circle, now feels like a flashback to the early days of their entangled lives with Diddy. And then there's Diddy's 2017 Instagram mix-up where he accidentally tagged Kylie instead of Kendall. Fans joked he did it on purpose to stir up some drama. But in hindsight, maybe it's a hint of just how deeply his name is threaded through their lives. So grab your popcorn and settle in, because this story is only just heating up. Every new detail has fans leaning in closer, and who knows what bombshell's gonna drop next.